recently bought the Yakima Skybox 16 Carbonite cargo roof box and used it on a 2400 mile road trip. I was impressed by it so I thought I'd throw together a quick review to show it off. This model is 6 feet 9 inches long, 36 inches wide, 15 inches in height and weighs 47 pounds. We'll start by reviewing Skybox's features. One of the best features in my opinion is the Skybox's ability to open from both the left and right side of the box. This makes it easy and convenient to pack or unpack it from whatever size closest to you. The handle has an integrated lock that keeps the key captured until the box is securely closed. Because of this, you can be confident that your box is fully closed before hitting the road. The rear end of the box is designed to give space for rear hatches to open and won't interfere with most antennas. Check out these dimples in the lid. They're similar to dimples on a golf ball where they increase aerodynamics and decrease road noise. We didn't hear any whistles or wind noise during any part of the trip, so I say it's a sign feature it's very effective. Here's a view of the inside of the empty cargo box. You can see the quick release clamps flipped up, we'll go over those soon. The inside is nice and spacious without much to get in the way of your cargo. These are the latches that lock the box closed. They also act as hinges when the opposite side is opened. Pretty cool. It right there. Here are some pass throughs for straps. There are a total of four of them two in the front and two in the rear. The shell is made out of 80% recycled ABS plastic. It's such a large size with thin walls, it needs reinforcements. So here's a look at the reinforcement parts inside the base. This is a really cool reversible hinge that holds the lid open and also helps it close. Reinforcement ribs on the lid. And that same reversible hinge again on the opposite side. Here's what the box looks like partially loaded. Here's what the box looks like fully loaded. And this is everything that we had inside. The maximum capacity is 16 cubic feet. I want to show you the quick release clamping system that mounts the Yakima Skybox to your roof rack. These levers on the inside essentially ride in the can that once rotated down, lock the lever in front of the place. There are four of them, two on each end, and the distance between them is adjustable by loosening the thumb screws and sliding the assembly into the slots. Installing it on the vehicle is pretty easy. Place it on top of the roof rack with the clamps open and in front of the crossbars. One of my clamps was closed, so I had to open it before proceeding. Then you just slide it in the center and then slide it back until it sits into place and you pretty much feel it set down. Open up your first side. Then you're gonna go ahead and jump in there and lock the quick release clamps. You'll have to do this on both sides of the box. Here's a close up of a clamp that holds onto the crossbar. Here's a couple more angles. Removing it from the vehicle is, you guessed it, just the opposite. Unclamp the quick release lamps from both sides. Close the box. And now you're ready to go ahead and slide it off the vehicle. Overall, I think the Yakima Skybox was a really good purchase. It did an awesome job at keeping most of our luggage from cluttering up our SUV during our road trip. Plus, we hit several heavy rains during the road trip and never got one drop of water inside the box. Besides that, 
it looked pretty good on top of a black Kia Sorento with a shiny black finish and sleek design. If you found this review helpful, click like and subscribe for new videos. Thanks for watching.